Today's video is all about heart transport bots and what we can do to stop them, what we can do to lessen the blow, possibly, you know, stop these botters, but I'm going to teach you how to identify the bots and what you can do to kind of somewhat not entirely stop them. So, first off, the bots will always be riding a grizzly bear. They're going to be doing a two, um, a two strong box heart transport. They're going to kind of walk in weird patterns left and right, kind of dodging around and this one is actually going this way so I might be able to get them and uh, their name will always be a spam name like this is ERGSDFDGE or whatever and he's about to he lost his shield just a bit now and so I'm going to uh, relinquish him of his uh, <laughs> of his uh, heart transport here with this um, astral staff and yes this does take some work this will take a bit of practice to do and you're going to need a lot of very strong and good gear and high specs to do this but there are several builds that you can use to kind of uh <laughs> chase these guys down and, and break their uh, their mount but uh, they don't really stand a chance against you because even though they have a grizzly with that move speed buff they uh they are terrible they're not manned by people the, this is a bot this is being controlled automatically on rails um as a bot it is not avoiding me manually it is not riding manually and uh, you i can prove this by just walking in front of it and uh, dismounting here. Oh, see, now he's already at the at the turn-in spot, so I'm not able to get him. Because as soon as he hits this line, he's going to get a shield, and now he is safe. But he will make an, a trip back, and this is going to turn him invisible. Which, um... <laughs> so what's going to happen? Now he's invisible, he's doing the trip back up this way. So we're going we're gonna to have to catch him then. And I'm going to show you uh, a good spot to, to catch these guys and how to get them. And what you can do now he's gonna be invisible like basically the whole time so we're just gonna go ahead and change zones here but let me talk about the build what can we do to stop them how do we do this and uh, I'm go going to be inspecting a lot of players that I ride by now you'll notice also that I am bridge watch flagged that's pretty important for this as I don't really see bridge watch bots and I'm not sure why but most of the bots come from Fort Sterling I don't know why that is that's just how the botters have it set up and here's the build. You're going to need the Stalker Jacket. This is pure damage. This is what's going to help melt the bears. Then you're going to need one of three weapons. You're going to need an Astral Staff, one of the newer weapons. I don't expect anyone to really have this yet. Or Bear Paws or Permafrost Prism. Those are the three weapons that you can use to dismount Grizzlies. And it takes about two to three passes to do it. Now, I'm over here in the Limhurst kind of Fort Sterling midsection. This is Enos Mon. This is a really good place. The bots love to travel. Uh, through here and there's some narrow choke points which you can catch a lot of people in well bots rather but uh, there is one better zone that I like because the bots get stuck on all the terrain and uh, also remember we're looking at names here that's a that's a, not a transport that that name is white light that's a readable name it is not a uh, <laughs> that is not a bot they're not doing a transport anyway okay so that is a player as well and, uh, again, we're gonna be encountering a lot of bots in this video, and here's the thing, too. I've been cleaning out these bots for about a week now, and, uh, their numbers have lessened greatly because I have, you know, found out what they're doing and where they're doing it. So the bot owners are adjusting, they're changing. Now, that's a human player, but that is a juicy transport, and I, I've gotta get in on that. Now, I, cause I can, I can just take that, that's free money for me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely taking that. <laughs> All right, so helmet into that, into that, into this, into this, and that's a dismount. So he's just going to stand there and let me just kill him. So he's overweight, and this is what happens when you kill the bots, by the way. This guy's not a bot. What the hell? Oh, he's got his armor active. But I just made 236,000 silver. So there is a reason why you want to do this. Not only does it help, there's that bot we talked about. There he is. Now his mount's full health, and we're going to catch him. All right, and we can totally catch him. This is pretty easy. Now... The mount I'm using is the Elite Terror Bird, and the reason why is because it gives me a few abilities. It has a Q button, also this bot. Um, this is another bot. You can see that they're uh, they're everywhere. They are ev they are literally everywhere. The reason why is I can dismount and get a speed boost. Very very valuable stuff. So we're gonna do this. Let my helmet kind of buff up a bit, and then we're gonna attack him. Now I can't dismount him in this zone, but I can wound him pretty severely here. And then we're just going to throw a Q, hit him a bit. All right, see, notice how he's kind of janking around. A real player isn't going to get stuck on trees. And here's there's another one. There goes another bot. 
They're everywhere, and I can't believe no one's made a video about this. But uh, another reason we're using the Terror Bird is the, the double Q here lets you get started faster, it lets you catch up. Now he's gonna get a shield, but he's he's a bot, so he doesn't wait for his life to regenerate. And there he goes. So this is the map that we should camp. Karen Darg. I make about 2 million per hour on this map, and that's another bot. There he is. See, it's a flat 4 bear guy. He just skits in around. They're everywhere, and I've killed these bots several times. So now I'm just going to ride ahead of the bot, and the bot, he's just kind of, he's just going to like weave back and forth. Like, real players don't do this. They literally don't do this. The shield runs out about up here for him, so... Yeah, right about there. Okay, so we're just going to dismount. And again, these are bots. They they don't know how to path. They don't know how to run away. And uh, we're just going to buff up here. Three, four, five, six. And there we go. Now, he got a run speed buff, but because he's a bot and he has to be jank, like he, I can just hit him for the full duration of his mount's little speed boost there. All right, so one more pass, and that guy is dismounted. So I'm just going to follow him on foot here. Wait for my mount's cooldown. He's going to get hit by mobs, so he won't be regenerating. Hopefully this rock golem doesn't aggro me, but that's fine. We're going to double dash. And they like to kind of take a little alternate path away from the road, but there he is. He's not getting away. I've already got my cooldowns back. You can see I'm faster than him. And again, he takes no evasive maneuvers whatsoever. And we're just going to run up ahead just a little bit. There we go. Dismount. Again, this is why we're using the Elite Terrorbird, so I have this little move speed buff. Use my helmet ability. There we go. Chase him a bit. Three, four, five, six... And now I just push E, now he's dead. So this is free money for me, and no money for the bot. So this guy is just dead, he can't move, he's overweight, he's failed the mission. And I just made 121,000. And as you've already seen, we've passed about four other bots so far in this video. And they are 24-7 running up and down Karen Darg and Inus Mon. So this is where it's at on the map. It's in between Limhurst and Fort Sterling, right here. Karen Darg and Inus Mon. Now, I am, I am Bridgewatch flagged, which means I, get, I can use the Elite Terror Bird's abilities. The first one is this little zigzag, so there's zig and then there's zag. It's just a little speed boost, and then the W spells the Desert Breeze. That gives you a run speed buff. You don't need this to kill the bots, but you need this to kill human players. And uh, like I said, you're going to use an Astral Staff or a Bear Paws or a Permafrost Prison. They all work. I bring Poison Potion just in case I need them, mostly for human players. And, uh, again, Stalker Jacket. I'm using the Royal Hood to maximize the damage from my Stalker Jacket and Astral Staff. This this pulls ahead of an 8.4 uh, Cowl of Purity by a tiny amount. That's why I'm using it. Also, I didn't eat Beef Stew, but if I did, I could probably dismount them in a little bit quicker. But uh, that's mostly for human players. Also, ignore this. I found this on the way here. I just killed a random mob, and it dropped a 6.3. So I got really lucky, because this is, like, worth a 1.5 mil. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to kill a few more bots now. And so here's how I, I bot hunt. Because there used to be a lot more bots. I'm talking, there would be bots, like, on every screen. Like, if I ran a few feet down here, there'd be a bot. And, they're like, I have thinned their numbers massively. And now I'm letting you guys know that this is free farming. This is free heart transport farming. It's still 2 million silver per hour. And, yeah, you need 8.4. So look at this. Here, here's a bot. Look at him. There we go. We got another bot. Lin Cunny you that look, look at his day look how damaged his gear is this guy has been beat up a lot so again I can just he, he's a bot he's not gonna run away from me he's not gonna path around me and look there's another bot see <laughs> see they're everywhere just choose which bot you want to beat up so we're gonna beat this one up so I'm gonna get my six stacks three four five six and there we go Got his six stacks. He's uh he's got his speed buff, but he's just kind of circling around. And again, this is not a bot being like playful with me or anything, okay? This is literally a bot just trying to get to his destination. And uh, again, look, we can just follow him. <laughs> like we're, we already got our mount back. And again, he's half HP from one combo. So there we go. Now, one thing you have to watch out for when you're doing this, because I'm so far deep in enemy territory, is enemy PvPers. There are people that are, you know, Limhurst and Fort Sterling faction flagged, and when they see me because I'm Soul Benji, uh, they think that I'm a bad guy. I'm out here hunting bots, but they don't know that, right? Okay, so let's get the helmet back up. Now he's regenerating, regenerating health a little bit. Four, five, and he just kind of stopped there, so I don't know if he took manual control if he's trying to log out. He might be trying to log out, like the owner might be back or something. But there we go, we got the dismount. 
Did he? Oh, he trashed. The owner came back and he trashed. He, he shouldn't be able to move after being dismounted. That <laughs> That is interesting. So, again, <laughs> the, the, the bot owner must have... There he is. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's fighting the mob. <laughs> What's going on here? Well, he's dead either way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe this is a more advanced bot, unlike those other bots. I don't know, but I just made another 128k. There we go. And and again, I just run up and kind of uh, like the bots will start here, and they're gonna p take this path. Look at my cursor, and they're just kind of kind of go through here, and then they go down here. And that's all. That's all. I just run up and down this zone, and I can just snipe bots. And sometimes real players, you know, real players are um, <laughs> um, they are uh, they are plentiful as well as the bots. So if if you don't care about you know taking a real person's heart transports, which you shouldn't, they're on the enemy faction, don't feel bad, it's just part of the game, you know, it's part of the risk that they're willing to take, then just, you can clean house here, I mean, look at this, this is 236k, so I've already made a little under 500, 500k in 11 minutes, like, and that, yes, it does take about 10 to 15 minutes to ride out here, but uh, it is absolutely worth it to come out here and just hunt bots and players, and I will say that, you know, the, the Royal Hood's pretty damn good, but um, I don't know. I think that the uh, Caller Purity is just faster, right? Because I'm sitting there having to, you know, juice up and wait for my damage boost. Here we go, another bot. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, dude, these things are a plague on this game. But the cool thing is, is that we can benefit by hunting them down. So, <laughs> all right. We're just going to wait here for the bot. To sh there he is. Charge up my helmet. Two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. You did a little spin there, a little bot spin. This one's actually moving kind of smoothly. All right, so I got his health down a little bit. You can see I got uh, seven seconds on my mount. But look at that name. That is not a... Uh, now he's in a guild. That's interesting. That's a, that I have not seen a bot that's been in a guild yet, so... I don't know what, what's going on with that, but uh, we should be able to catch up here pretty quick. Now, again, that per that one was moving a little more stiffly, and now he's just frozen? I don't know what's going on. Oh, no, okay. He's, again, the bot behavior is very odd. See, now, with the speed boost, I think that this one's being manually controlled. I think that the bot owner is, like, back. Because, uh, now, here's the thing. Normally, as a solo ganker, you can't really expect to catch bots. I mean, I'm sorry, not bots, but b bears. Bears are really heavily armored, very heavily, they're very tanky. You, you can't really expect to get them. And this one is not moving like a bot anymore. He's moving very smoothly. See, look at him, how he turns. He's like pivoting around and stuff. And why is he going this way? See, he's juking me now. So this is, this is a person now. This was a bot. But it is now a person. So I'm going to... I don't stand a chance to dismount that. I really don't. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to leave it. All right? <laughs> I, I have never seen the bots be have manual control taken back over, right? So anyway, I'm going to go back to patrolling now. We're going to get some more bots. And yes, they are bots. I'm not calling them bots because I'm trying to, like, frame them or anything. They are legitimate freaking bots. At first, I thought they were being multi-boxed. But that's not the case. They are literally on rails. They all follow the same path. They get stuck on the same terrain because the terrain does change from time to time. And uh, again, we're just going to ride back down here and uh, <laughs> fi find some more free loot. It's Again, it's free loot. It's absolutely free. Oh, man. And uh, yes, there's like, I don't know if this weapon is the best for this. It just lets me do damage while I'm on top of them. Uh, but if you had like friends, you could root them. You can um, incubus mace because they they don't wear they don't wear uh, Bartlock capes or Fort no they don't wear Fort Sterling capes. So you can stun them. You can hold them down for a bit. There's a lot of things you could do to them. Like if they didn't get a shield on this bridge, you could put traps on it. You know, like uh, <laughs> you know caltrops or whatever, and a bunch of other things. But again, you can patrol here in Karen Darg. You can go to Enos Mon. You can patrol there. They like the left side a lot. I haven't seen bots on the right side, but you never know. And, uh, again, you just ride up and down here. Now, I'm recording this at dead hours. It is 7 a.m. UTC on a Tuesday. Like, everyone's sleeping. They're, they're, they got work or school to go to. 
so there's not a lot of activity, right? But the bots are still up and about. The bots never sleep. But obviously right now, what I'm, I don't normally gink at this hour, but what I'm noticing is that apparently the bot owners are watching. They must, whoever owns the bot farm is probably like, okay, it's been a week and profits are down. Someone is killing our bots. What's going on? It's Swole Benji's fault. And so they probably hired someone to sit there and stare at the phones and stare at the wall of bots. And as soon as they see like one being attacked, they're supposed to take manual control over it and, um, run it to safety. I think that's what's going on. That, or they're, like, right now, we're not seeing a lot of bots. Oh, here we go. I ganked this one earlier. Why is he chilling? Like, normally they don't stand still, and this is a bot. I'm gonna I'll tell you right now, this is a bot. Maybe he got disconnected. Maybe his internet went out. I don't know. I'm gonna try to beat him up, though. And, yeah, so far, so good. I mean, I got that poison potion, but he can run to safety in the top left here. And look, there's another, this guy's looking at me, so that this is bad news that this guy stops and dismounts. But he might not. He might not. He might realize that this is just a bot. He looks a little geared. He's got an undead cape. All right, so there we go. We dismounted the bot. Don't, hopefully he doesn't log out. <laughs> All right, so that's some free loot there. Thank you, bots. Thank you for your donation. And uh, <laughs> he'll be back. Look at how broken his gear is. Like, I don't think that the bot owner is repairing their bots. If I can fully break their armor, they would be easier to dismount. And again, if I brought like one person with me, I don't, I don't have any friends, but if I did have friends, man, they would be so easy to, okay, now that's a human. That's a human player. That's a human player. And uh, what is this guy? That's this little PVP dude. But um, those guys got to come back. Either they're dropping off or they're getting their second part. Oh, here we go. This guy is naked. No, he's not. He looked naked. He's actually in plate. This is a really hard dismount. This is a player. This is a human player. And he's got the pork pie in case he, you know, dismounts. He's got the shield up, so he's very hard to be, to follow at the moment. But um, I can do my I can do my best. Come on, mob, hit him. Yeah, he's he's a fast boy. He's he's going to cut the corner over here on the on the uh, he's going he's going down here. Right? He just got hit by mobs. I'm going to try to dismount here. I don't think I got this, but okay, see he jukes. Real players are going to juke. I'm going to Try to get my speed up, and I don't have a way to catch him. That's not going to slow him down enough. If he pops in Viz, like normally I would, I would have my Calipurity and I could hit him there. <laughs> so he's just looking at me now. He's like, <laughs> again, they're very hard to catch unless you get very far ahead of them and they're not paying attention. But you, you must understand that not all players are good at the game. Not all players are good at running from gankers. Okay, and uh, you know, I, <laughs> as I'm trying to sit here and speak. Is it, this is not a red zone, is it? I gotta make sure I'm not in a red zone. Okay, it's a yellow zone. Now, I'm a fast loader, so I might have loaded ahead of that guy. If that's the case, I'm gonna run ahead, wait for my shield to pop, and then get a little ahead of that. Okay, when does the shield pop? There we go. Now I'm a little ahead of the shield pop, and now I'm just gonna dismount here. It's, it's risky. It's What I'm doing is risky. And I'm gonna wait for that name to pop up up here. It might. Especially if he's slow. He might have just went to this zone and then went back. This might not even be his path. Which is probably the case. Like, why would he path this way? I don't know. So maybe he tricked me thinking he's going down this way. But, you know, that, that's just the things that you have to do as a heart transport ganker. This is not really sp supposed to be a heart transport gank tutorial. This is a how to farm the bots tutorial. Because the bots... They gotta go. They're ruining the economy for the actual players that actually really do transport these things and buy them with, you know, faction point rewards. You ever wonder why, like, capes are getting cheaper and stuff? It's because of these bots. They are absolutely ruining the market for Limhurst, Fort Sterling capes, you name it. Anyway, let's get back on, on path here, on task. And I'm gonna check back up here because I know the, bo the bots path up here. And also, you can listen. You can listen to see if anything is attacking, casting spells, making noises... I don't have my volume up, but, um, like, the bots are noisy, you know? They're on a big bear, they're running through the mobs, the mobs are attacking them and stuff. And, uh, alright, so nothing here. Let's get back on the road. Nothing going on down here, let's... And again, you just gotta be patient for them, because, uh... <laughs> you will encounter them, and <laughs> I've already showed you so many bots. But I feel like the owner has either, like, is putting them in timeout, he's, like, logging them out. Uh, you know, sometimes bots do log out for a while to simulate human actual players, because if they're just running 24-7, you know, in an unnatural way, then, then that's a way they get caught. 
So, they, you know, it could be time for them to take a nap. I don't normally gank them at this hour. I normally do it during prime time. Also, if you want to beat up naked um, <laughs> mammoths, you know, you, you can do that in this zone if you wanted to. If, you, if you're into that, I mean, I'm totally into it, but... Alright, so no bots right now. I could sit here. I could just sit here and wait for one to show up. Or I could ride back up this way and see if there's any incoming. Because you want to catch them in the middle of the map. That way you have plenty of time to uh, double engage on them and then dismount them. But yeah, pretty good stuff. And, and like I said, I've been milking this for a few weeks now. I mean, if you look at my previous videos, look at my, my silver just shoot up like crazy, man. It, this is, it's a really good farm. It's a lot of fun. And you're doing a service to your fellow players. What more do you want? It's like a win-win-win. And, uh, you know, it's a big L on the botters. But hey, you know, whatever. Maybe they should become YouTubers instead of run bot farms or something. But anyway, I've kept you guys long enough. Get out here to Karen Darg. Flat, you you want to flag up as someone that isn't Fort Sterling or Limhurst because you can't attack them. Like if they're a Fort Sterling bot and you're Fort Sterling, you can't attack the bot. He just won't let you. So you have to be like like flag up as uh, Bridgewatch or Martlock and get your ass out here. And and there's other there's other places these bots frequent too. And if you know of a very busy bot farm on the West server, please let me know in the comments because I will go and ruin their day. I will absolutely ruin the day. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mob farm this real quick. Look how fast this weapon mob farms. It's nice. It's so beautiful. It's like I just push one button, they're all dead. You're not you're not doing that in the black zones, brother. You're just not doing that in the black zones. And uh, I will say that because I'm so deep out here and I'm just beating up bots that are like flat four. Like the bots, they're so undergeared and their item power is so low. They don't technically count as a as a faction, you know, knock knockout sort of kind of. I mean, they do, but they don't. And the reason why is because their item power is too low for them to actually technically participate in Faction Warfare. Alright, so I'm about to get hit by the mob there, that's fine. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep patrolling the bots here. You guys have fun. Let me know what you think in the comments. And um, don't be simping for no bots. Don't let me catch you simping now. With that said, please leave a like because the, the botters and the bots supporters, the bot sympathizers, are going to be hating this video. I need your help. And getting it boosted. Share this with your friends. If you have any, I guess. And uh, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. And if you don't click it, the worst thing that's going to happen is... It's the worst thing. It's the worst curse I've ever put at the end of my videos. And you know what it is? It's You're not going to be able to figure out what you want to eat uh, tomorrow. I know. It sucks. And we're just going to gank this guy. We're just going to just randomly gank this dude. I don't know why. I just feel like it. It's a little great axe dude. He's gonna spin on me. Spin versus magic spells. Well, he didn't stand a chance. Hey, we saw him earlier. Anyway, that's the video. Mwah, goodbye.